All right, quiet on the set. And action. The bone strap. Bone straps were first issued to German aviators during World War II by the Federal Republic of Germany. Particularly useful in hostile war circumstances, the strap was equipped with the famous boot, a protective leather backing that came between the wrist and the watch. So no matter how intensely hot or cold conditions could get during service on the field or in the air, the wearer would suffer no consequence. Wow! Look at that bone strap! A temperature-sensitive metal watch case could never scald or freeze to a wrist, thanks to that extra piece of backing. Now, let's see how a bone strap is made. Why, there's Ryan Bodgwick of Shalbeth Entertainment. Hi, Ryan! I really love that boom strap. Won't you take us through a tutorial video on how you make them? Hey David, got this in the mail today. So we're gonna open it up and check this out. So thank you Amazon for making this Theft proof. Okay. Orient. Alrighty, let's see what we got going on here. You got your Orient owner's manual. Orient, I guess this is warranty information. Yeah. International guarantee. It's a nice box. Check it out. Bubble wrapped. There's your Bambino, your, your Orient Bambino 2 watch. There we are. You can see it right there, automatically, that the strap that it came on was a dark brown. And look at that. Okay, so first things first, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to get my little tool kit here and... Uh, I'm going to take those spring bars off and we're going to measure up the watch. I uh, put it back in here because I didn't want it to get all scratched up or anything. I want to try to take as much care of it as possible. So let's go ahead and uh, remove the night night pillow. Okay. So maybe I'll actually use a night night pillow for right now. Let it sit on there. So that way we can take the spring bars off. There we go. We got that. That one's good. And we're going to reuse these spring bars. There we go. Came out. I'm going to keep the spring bars in there like so. Uh, this is my template that I'm using for the boom strap. And as you can see, I already started to outline it. Ready to go. And then this is going to be the dye color here I'm using right here. It's called dark brown. All right. Um, some people say dark tan, uh, you know, but this is the dark brown color here. And this is an old watch strap that I have here that I use to illustrate the different colors that I have. So as you see, we have black. This is saddle tan, and this is dark tan. Um, as you can see, I got two layers of leather here. Um, both of these, we have this uh, really nice suede feeling on on the on the inside of the leather, and then um, as you see on 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 the on the outline where this blue that I have in here, this is where I'm going to cut this out around the leather to actually fit your watch inside. So it's going to basically be, be recessed inside this leather on top of this piece of leather. This is going to be this this dark brown color with the contrasted white stitching and then this is going to be the natural color of, of, of the leather on the bottom. We're going to be dyeing this side here. Now these are called daubers. I got all these daubers all set off. Obviously as you can see this one is, I got them labeled too. This one's set for leather sheen. 
This one's set for saddle tan. This one obviously is the black, black dye. This one is for water. It says water on there because whenever I want to shape the leather, I'm going to get wet. So I don't have this one uh, labeled, but we can tell this one's dark brown. So it gave us a good little shake. Stick the dauber into the into the dye like so, and I have to wear a latex glove. And the reason why is because this is a leather dye. As we know, leather is basically skin, and I don't want to dye my skin. <laughs> so, all right. So there we go. I'm gonna go in here and just. It's a very very. Uh, pungent smell it has its own uh, unique aroma to it uh, it, de it doesn't smell bad but it's definitely one of those aromas that if you sniffed model glue growing up you're definitely going to love this <laughs> <So> <laughs> I'm sorry I don't know where I came up with that from see what we're doing here also the reason why I went this way first because I went with the grain of the leather and now I'm going to go against the grain a little bit here now. So that way we fill in what was actually missed. I think we pretty much got that. Yeah. Okay, and we got our heat gun. We're going to put it on a low setting. I'm just going to give it a nice little dry. Dry this up. Okay, and I got myself an old cotton t-shirt. Anyway, we're going to take this. We're going to buff this out. Just like so. And as you can see, it starts to give it like a nice sheen. Like a nice shine on top. Actually, I don't think I need the hand condom anymore. So I can take this off. But look at that. Look how nice and shine. Like how off of the light it reflects and everything. So we're going to go ahead and cut that out, just like so. And we're going to have this leather around here, and this leather around here, just like so. And I cut out the, uh, the, top watch, the top watch strap and the bottom. I know they look a little chunky right now, and that's uh, perfectly fine, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand them sand everything down so that way they're nice and smooth so all right so everything's all sanded up we got it all nice and contoured and even now of course when we sandwich it together we're going to sand it even more to get a nice even more clean look like so um there's that that suede backing i was telling you about it's not really like a like a suede but it feels very soft like suede and that's important because on the back of your watch here that you see this is going to rust up against this. I'm just going to give you my very quick autograph. And we're going to say Shellbus Entertainment. So that way you know where it came from. We'll go ahead and do this uh, 2019. Got our leather sheen. Put our dauber in there, like so. once over. It doesn't take long for this stuff to dry. Alright, then we're going to go and just going to buff it out. Okay, and it looks really good. You see, got my autograph in there and everything. Okay, so the first thing before we get the stitching done, I want to make sure that this is going to sit in there nice and flush because when it bends around the wrist it's going to pull on the lugs and we want to make sure that it's not going to have a lot of pressure on the lugs when it's finally bent. And we're going to get our leather glue. I'm going to glue the back of this. I'll 
take this and use this to rub the glue in. That way we're not using our finger and getting glue all over the leather. Go ahead and position this down like so. And position this down like so. Whenever you finally put this in here like that, I mean it's it's a little bit recessed up and that's perfect, that's what we want because the watch is going to sit down in there. We're going to go in and we're going to use our, our hole punch and we're going to make stitch marks. So we're going to use this tool here. Let's give it a nice tappy tap. So this one's going to go down here on the bottom. Oops. Go down here on the bottom. Okay, then you're gonna pull that through and hold that with your thumb. Take your other, put that up on the top. So that way it's up on the top and pull it through. Give it a quick tug. And then we're gonna come through one more time. Yeah. Give a quick tug. And then tie. Okay, so here we are, the finished stitch. You see, you got a stitch on the back, you got a stitch up in the front. Okay, all glued up and ready to go. I uh, got a little surprise for you. I want to show you something I think that you're really going to like this. I really like that. I think that adds a lot of a lot of flair and a lot of pop to it. And when you wear it on your wrist, people are going to look at it and it's like, oh, I like your watch. Where would you get that at? Actually, before I get to stitching, I'm sanding up all these edges here. So that way we get everything nice and even. And yes, everything is by hand. There's no machines here. I don't use any machines because I like to do things by hand. Uh, it's quality craftsmanship. And I want to make sure that when it says that it's handmade, that it means handmade. All right, you're gonna love this, okay? Now I went and made a decision instead of, I'm not finished with it yet, but instead of doing the black edges, I'm really loving this natural leather look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the natural leather look on the, on the outline here. That just screams elegance. I mean, that is just pure elegance. That's going to be a conversation starter on your wrist. People are going to love that. They're going to want to talk about it. And it'd be a nice conversation starter. All right, this is something just real simple I'm going to show you here. I'm going over these, uh, these edges. It's called burring the edges. And what I'm using is I'm just using some uh, leather sheen. And I'm just going through with my wooden burr. See how nice and smooth and shiny the edges look. So here's what we got. This is our, or your watch, uh, your bone strap for your watch. So if you notice here, what I did is I cut out a little bit more in here because it's supposed to give more of that appearance of that naturalness, you know, because I really, really love that, love that naturalness of the, of the leather behind her. Now, this uh, watch band keeper here, this is gonna come off. And I, I really don't know any other way, like unless I glue it, and stitch it in um, but since this is such thick leather the reason why I did this is because you'll see here that you only need one watch watch band keeper you don't need any any more than that and if you were to put it like way up here where it's supposed to be then you got this little bit of flap here and you want to be able to have this adjusted so where it's not going to up against your clothes and I'm like it. If you notice that I set the time to your time zone and we're looking at both watches so they're pretty much at 
I mean, mine's a little bit fast, I think. So, but you're uh, you're in Oregon, so you're three hours behind me. I'm three hours ahead of you, so I set mine to three hours behind, or I set yours to three hours behind. So, uh, anyway, this is the the watch design that I have for you. Um, I, th I know it's going to be a, a big conversation because I know, I know people are going to look at this and they're going to be falling in love with this watch instantly. Uh, I don't know if you're married or not, but if you're single, you're going to be picking up a lot of ladies with this one. Uh, I even have the autograph on the back for you so that when people know that where it comes from, you'll know. Now, a few of the small things I wanted to go over. Like this part here on the lower lug strap I actually had to go through and actually go through both layers here the reason why is because uh, I don't know what it is with these Chinese watches um, my my harness was the same way but these these lugs they just don't line up and I kept struggling and struggling and struggling trying to get this watch finally in in here it lined up with the lugs that this piece of leather tore so i had to go back instead of starting the whole thing all over again i figured just a small quick fix i'll just stitch that up it's actually really simple i'm gonna get a heat gun ready yeah go ahead and just rubber beeswax on here now water resistance would i say that this is 100 percent water resistant Probably not, and the reason why is because of the fact that when you look behind the watch, it's that natural leather. I didn't sheen that. I didn't do anything with that because uh, if I were to sheen that, it would darken that up and it would look the same color as this. So I wanted to keep that contrasting color. And um, so if water gets in these holes or behind this watch here, then it's not going to be very water resistant and you're going to see water build up inside of the leather and could warp it. Just real quick, flip over. You don't gotta worry, I'm not putting any heat on your watch because this is about the equivalent heat to what I'm doing here. The equivalent heat, see I can do it right here on my, on my finger, it's not even hurting me. So I'm doing it to the equivalent to about a 95 degree temperature day outside. Just give it a quick buff. I hope you like your Orient Bambino watch. Real quick, before packaging, we put it on to the Pillow of Destiny. <laughs> So that's our pillow of destiny. I'm going to go ahead and bubble wrap it again. And then we put it inside of your box. Like so. Try to push it down because I know this is going to be a lot bigger than the original. Yeah, see? Can't close the box the entire way. Your cardboard box, I hope you don't mind, but I accidentally spilled just a little bit of water on it. So there's a little bit of water stain on your cardboard box. I hope that's okay. Um, it should be, because that's, you know, the main attraction is this box here. I didn't get anything on this box, so it's perfectly fine. But we're going to wipe off some of the fingerprints on the top of the box before I send it out. Okay? All right. Take care.